Nigel Houston just tore his ACL. Let's talk about it. Hearing this news is very devastating because I've been watching Nigel since like 2007. And so he's going to be out for a minute. No street league, no send Saturdays, none of that. He's looking at about six to 12 months at least. Knowing Nigel and how serious he takes his legacy, he'll probably shoot for like 11 months. Anything to get that recovery time shorter. Your ACL, that's one of the hardest injuries to recover from. Being that it revolves around your knee and your ability to take impact, I would be devastated if this meant that Nigel would be skating curbs after he recovers. Mike Moe had a similar injury which involved a golf cart if you don't know. His leg doesn't like flick the same. He had to spend a lot of months to work on switch flips, regular kick flips, for lack of better words, got nerfed. So this video revolves around how to stay skating longer. So me, I'm Julian Cummings. I just turned 30 last week and I've taken measures since last year to make sure that I can skateboard longer. So just getting right into it. There's only three ways I know how to stay skating longer and that's through money, health, and time. Time, by simply just making more time for skateboarding, you've already achieved how to stay skating longer. And we all have the same 24 hours in a day. There's no way to get more time. You have the same 24 hours as I do. There's also two other ways that you can get more time. The first way is getting your money up. If you had enough money, like some of these big skate YouTubers, you wouldn't have to go work a job, sell the eight hours for money. You would just get your eight hours back and you can go skate with those eight hours. The second way to get your time back, and this revolutionized my life. Once I understood this, it changed everything for me. Canceling plans. Any predetermined plans you had, say this weekend, I'm gonna go look for furniture. That should take about three hours. If you cancel that, you get those three hours back. That's very powerful in itself. As you get older, canceling plans becomes like one of your favorite things to do, honestly, to just get your time back and feel in control of your life. And then there's number three, working on your physical health as well as your mental health to make sure you're actually physically able to go skate. I've already begun working on my physical health. We were on a skate trip last year in Miami and I was with Jeremiah. Jeremiah, some of you guys know already, is an amazing skater, but also vegan for six years. Since we were living with other skaters in the skate house for a week in Miami, I was like, yo, what if I go vegan for one day? Like, I don't know if I could do it. Just no meat, no milk, no cheese. Just eat what you eat. See if I feel any different. See if I skate any different. And he says, nah, bro, go one week. And I was like, Bro, one whole week? Bro, I don't know how I could do it. And then this happened. A year later, I can honestly say as of last week, I'm one year vegan. And how I was able to do this, they say it takes 21 days, three weeks to form a new habit. I didn't need those 21 days. After the first two days, I had already gone through the growing phase, which is the difficult part about it. And I know what you're thinking, it takes a lot of discipline. Honestly, a lot of it just comes from the discipline you get from skateboarding. Largely, I was very stubborn. Like people would be like, bro, just eat it. Like, oh, like, no, like chocolate, it's got milk in it. Bro, just eat it. And I would be like, no, I can't. Like, I know already. I know it has chocolate. I'm not going to do that to myself. I've already made a commitment. The commitment was only one week, but I took it even further to a whole year. It wasn't my goal to set out for a whole year. I wasn't trying to impress anybody. I was just trying to impress myself, see if I would actually feel any different. The point of this video is not to claim that I'm the best, that I'm better, that this is the superior lifestyle, the superior diet. None of that. I'm not forcing a religion on anybody. And I have to clear that out, out of the way, because I'm not trying to like make anybody interest you, convert anybody into like the vegan diet, the vegan lifestyle. I'm just saying that there's pro skateboarders that are doing things to make sure that they can skate longer. You have Neen Williams, Mike Moe, Nyjah Houston, and a lot of other skaters that are still able to skate. Tony Hawk even. Tony Hawk, he's just did his last Air 540, made it an NFT. He's never doing that trick ever again because there's a high risk factor at his age. So he's decided that, okay, I'm gonna give up the trick. I can do it. I've recorded it many times. I'm just no longer gonna do that. It's high risk, low reward. It doesn't have to be with your diet. You could just stay away from certain tricks. Like me personally, I've stopped skating any stair sets bigger than like 12. I haven't ollied a 12 yet, but I want to, and that, that's probably like the highest I'll go. But nothing past a 12 stair excites me. I'm completely okay with that. You see a lot of pro skaters using foam rollers, Manny Santiago, massage guns, Neen Williams, kettle weights, meditation, Chad Caruso, Mowgli, an amazing skater, vegan for seven years. I'm not gonna make any claims that going vegan for a year has made me skate better, but I'm gonna show you some clips from before I went vegan to now currently what my clips are looking like and you guys just see if you can see a difference but ultimately i didn't think that i could do this i didn't think that you could go without eating meat 
I was my first thought, like everybody else, how are you gonna get protein? What does a meal look like? What does your meals look like if there's no meat? Does it even taste good? Could you really see yourself eating that every single day? I'll be honest, it's a huge inconvenience when you are so used to like fast food, getting quick access to a food at a gas station, a convenience store. If a friend brings you some food, bought you something already, like ice cream, and you have to tell them no, it's got milk in it. So there is that. Ultimately, I can tell you from how I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I haven't been sick. I haven't got the virus. Being on this path helps you look at what you're getting. If I eat this banana, what, what am I gonna get from eating this banana? Well, you're gonna get potassium. It's gonna boost your stamina, stuff like that. I was already eating bananas before going vegan, but you just pay attention a little bit more. That's all this video is, is just paying attention to what you can do actively in your routine, in your diet to make sure that you skate longer. Boo Johnson waking up super early and he's very into his routines. He'll go run, he'll read, he'll just make sure that his mind is stimulated. He'll eat a lot of fruit in the morning. I've paid attention to like a lot of these pro skaters, their stories, and a lot of the times they're giving you the answers right in their story. My close homie, Darius Woods, he goes and actually does physical training with like sports athletes. Like he'll show up at the gym and do all this training on hand-eye coordination with a tennis ball and just make sure that he's able to like react really quickly. He also does basketball, so that helps him stay active even off the skateboard. The homie, Jay Films, he also does bike riding and jump rope. So he has a way to strengthen his ankles, cut down weight, and just feel better in the morning. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope Nigel makes a fast recovery and I wish you guys more attention to detail. I'm gone. All right, yo, so I just took my boy Julian and Nick out to this place called Guerrero Supermarket. Super, super simple. We just got beans, rice, um, All that shit. Some, 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 some fruit, some pineapples, some avocados, you know. Pretty much we got dinner and maybe lunch covered. Now we just need to cover breakfast and that'll be it. And he can have his full week or a few days of alkaline vegan and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm that. trying to make it, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Julian, you've been vegan for how long? since our Miami trip, bro. Since so, August, August of last year, 2021. Yeah. That looked good. Wow. That does look good. And what is this again? Oh, curry chicken wrap. Okay. So we got the greens in there, you feel me? So we getting our chlorophyll, our protein, right? The tempeh is in there, the soy, you feel me, the transitional vegan food that you can have. We also got the greens down here, the quinoa on top of the green. That's actually a complete source of protein. So yeah. Very good, very good. All right.